Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome back to my channel. Friends, today I will discuss SMPS design using top 244P. It is a top switch. It is a 15 watt output power design, 24 volt DC. Basically, it is a requested video from one of my viewers. Can you explain top 244P if you are visiting first time to my channel? Press the subscribe button if you want and if you want to watch my videos in future press bell icon button it is a universal power supply design it will work from 90 volt to 265 volt 2 ampere fuse varistor voltage arrestor 47 nanofarad 275 volt ac c8 capacitor to remove noises high frequency spikes then we have 1n4007 4 diodes in bridge configuration here we receive rectified voltage in the output of the bridge then we have 10 milli Henry dual line filter. It is connected in the output of the bridge rectifier. Filtered positive voltage are applied to this C19 22 microfarad capacitor 400 volts and negative side is connected here. Positive line is directly connected to transformer primary pin number 1. Pin number 3 is connected to drain pin of top 244P RCD snubber circuit VR2 6KE130A R6 68 ohm resistor, 10 nanofarad 1 kilo 1 kilovolt capacitor, and we have 1N4007. This circuit is working as a snubber circuit. Source pin is connected to ground. When this IC is silent, it will receive voltage from the pr transformer primary winding to drain pin, and it will charge this capacitor. When this capacitor will start charging, and it will reach at specified level, it will disconnect the charging circuit from drain to control pin at that time this IC will take a soft start when it will start switching it will apply this ground line to drain pin and it will start switching how it will switch the ground will apply to primary winding the positive voltage are applied to primary one side the ground will provide it from this SMPS controller M pin multifunction pin is connected to ground line with 10.5k resistor why this pin is connected here when we connect this pin multifunction pin because this pin have various functions different functions if it is connected to positive line if it is connected to with ground line if it is connected to ground if it is connected to resistor with control pin it have different functions in this configuration in this design it is connected to RIL that is current limiting resistor so in this design it will limit the current it will protect the IC it will not allow the circuit to drive with over current so here we have control pin control pin is connected to 47 microfarad capacitor that is VCC capacitor and R2 that is 6.8 ohm resistor we have optocoupler optocoupler is connected to transformer pin number 5 and pin number 4 is connected to a diode rectifier 1 and 4148 anode of this diode is connected to ground line so we have positive voltage positive pulses from this line reaching to this optocoupler when this IC started switching it will build a magnetic field in the primary it is flyback design because this IC is used in flyback configuration so flyback design when it will switch it will store energy in the primary when the pulse will off when the IC will turn off switching magnetic field will collapse when it will collapse it will induce voltage in secondary and it will also induce voltage in auxiliary winding so this voltage will rectify it from this diode it will rectify voltage and we have RC snubber to protect this diode for fast recovery and here we have C7 capacitor we have inductor 3.3 micro Henry L2 that is filter inductor then we have output capacitor 100 microfarad 35 volt a class Y capacitor here 220 picofarad 250 volt here when we will receive voltage in the secondary rectified voltage and it will store in this capacitor when the voltage will reach at a specific level here we have R17 that is LED resistor to protect the current then we have TR431 this LED is PC817 LED is here and optocoupler output transistor is here so it is a one piece this dotted line it is a concealed component LED and phototransistor here we have R14 bising resistor for TL431 C16 
capacitor to protect TL431 from false switching. Here we have voltage divider network. When the voltage will maintained at this capacitor, it will give a 2.5 volt reference to this TL431. It is 40.2K resistor and 4.7K resistor. So these two resistors will divide the voltage and we will take 2.495 or 2.5 volt in the reference pin and this will allow a cathode current to activate this LED. This LED will active and it will switch this transistor and it will pass this voltage to provide voltage to this control pin. So this IC will we come to know that the output level is maintained so it will control switching and this IC will switch at 132 kilohertz when there is no load this capacitor will discharge slowly now if the load is connected it will cause to a fast discharge on this capacitor and it will cause to make ripples on this capacitor. so these ripples will provide it to this LED and it will cause to vary the light this varying light will change the conduction of this transistor so control pin receive voltage from 4.8 volt to 5.8 volt with working window. If the voltage at control pin will drop less than 4.8 or it will exceed from 5.8, this IC will go in restart mode. So let me explain the function of multifunction M pin. If we have another configuration for this IC, let's check. If multifunction pin is connected to source pin, connected to ground, then this IC will work as a three terminal operation it will work only just on the source drain and control so it will work as a three terminal operation if it is connected to positive dc rail the output of the bulk capacitor then it will work as a line sensing for under voltage over voltage if it is connected in this configuration with 6.2 volts zener and 22k and 2 mega ohm resistor this will work only under voltage over voltage function will disabled if it is connected 2 mega 30 kilo ohm 1 and 4148 this will sense only over voltage under voltage function will disabled its configuration its component configuration will change its behavior if it is connected to a resistor so it will limit the current if it is connected 12 kilo ohm resistor it will limit the current at 69 percent if the resistance is 25 kilo ohm it will limit the current 43 percent of the total current if the multifunction pin is connected in this way 2.5 mega and 6 kilo ohm resistance it will current lim limit reduction with line voltage this configuration multifunction is connected with the transistor and it is connected base is connected 47 k resistor and on off it is fail safe active on it is active off remote on so we can control its function using some microcontroller some chip or some remote control any signal which can turn on the power supply or turn off the power supply for power saving option in this design it is only controlling the current now let's see the transformer de details if you want to design transformer use EEL 19 core leave the margin 3 millimeter from both sides right and left make a winding by reflect winding 31 AWG gauge 25 turn cancellation shield connect one end to pin number one and the second end left blank in the center of winding use insulation tape then primary winding 66 turns single wire 31 AWG gauge and this will opposite direction in winding to the cancellation shield insulation tape after that bias winding 8 turns single wire 25 AWG gauge but it will opposite in direction to the primary winding if primary is right to left it will left to right insulation tape then 14 turn AWG gauge primary shield it will in phase to the primary winding after that insulation tape and finally and finally apply 24 volts winding 15 turns single wire 26 AWG and it will opposite in direction to the primary winding reference is primary because it is a flyback transformer so we have to wind all the output windings even it is secondary winding or bias winding opposite to the primary winding its winding direction must be opposite direction because it have to store energy 
and then it have to transfer energy in off period so it should be in the opposite direction its winding order cancellation shield then primary section bias winding after that primary balance shield winding so after that there is a secondary winding and every layer must be insulated and 3 mm margin should be left from right and left side i will attach the link of this document in the description box and you can study all the parameters this document is from power integrations it is design example report for 15 watt flyback power transformer so friends i hope so this video is informative if it is informative give a thumb up if you have any question let me know in the comment box if you have not subscribed my channel subscribe it thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh